All right, we're here at my tiny worm bin. And last time we were in here, we put this bubble wrap on top, this plastic to try and help the moisture. And it has been doing a good job because it is moist right there. And if you look on the periphery, it is really dry. And this newspaper itself is wet. So I think it did its job pretty well. There may be some babies on here, but we're gonna put it right back in. And our feeding that we gave was a half a peach and some frozen chopped tomatoes and lettuce stock and strawberries. So we're, there's a fat one right there. So we're gonna go ahead and look and see if we can see if they ate it all. Now it's been 12 days since we were in here last. And just look at the difference between this right here where it's nice and moist and then this part off on the side, it is really dry. So if you have just started a worm bin and this worm bin is only 19 days old, it is probably gonna have a little trouble keeping the moisture in. And that is because there's hardly any castings in here. Castings retain moisture really well. So your older worm bins are gonna be really moist. In fact, it's kind of hard to dry them out to get them ready to harvest. But new worm bins that just have some bedding, they are going to be really dry. So you may want to put some plastic. It all depends on the humidity, where your worm bin is, how much wet food you're feeding, that kind of thing. Really what causes worm bins to go bad is too much moisture or overfeeding. So I just want to caution you, but let's go ahead and dig in and see if they've left us any food or if they've turned a bunch of it to worm castings. So right in there are definitely different than what we're seeing on the top layer. There are some castings in there and we've got some worms and you can see that the cardboard shreds are a little darker. So it's getting a little bit easier to see the worms, but there are a thousand in here. And when you first start a worm bin, it's kind of hard to distinguish the worms from the bedding. But here we go, little clusters of worms right there. I'm gonna dig on the corner here and see if we're getting any kind of pooling of water or anything like that down there. And it's looking pretty good. The moisture is looking pretty good at the bottom. Now, naturally, moisture, water is going to use gravity or <laughs> gravity is going to pull it down to the bottom. So you would expect to see more moisture on the bottom. And just a good showing of worms all throughout here. This is, <laughs> this is really good. So I guess the pockets of dryness that I'm seeing are along the edges and up higher. So there we go. Looking good through there. So let's go ahead and push that back in there. And then we'll kind of go through the center part here. Now this is a very tiny bin. I mean, you can see my hands, it is, <laughs> it is a tiny bin. And look at that, all kinds of great worms right there. That might've been where the half peach was. We'll have to see, but good showing of worms right there. Like I said, 1,008 worms went in here. So I'm pretty happy that this tiny bin can hold that many. We actually started this thing about a year and a half ago with 50 to 100 worms. And then after five months, we harvested it and it was at, I think, 492. And then we did another five months and it got up to about, I think, somewhere around 691. And then this last time, 1,008. I counted them out individually, if you can believe that. So let's go ahead and flip this over. And again, some of that came from the sides here. So... Pretty good showing. I'm just trying to mix it up also so some of the moisture gets mixed in. And we're gonna put in a good feeding with a lot of moist food, so that will help too. Cause yeah, over here I'm feeling a lot more dryness as we go. Yeah, look at that. Okay, yeah, down towards the bottom, more wetness and more castings. So castings and actually you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but you can actually see the cardboard getting shredded by them. So things are looking good. It's always a little scary the first, I don't know, 20 days to a month. You're just not sure. You want to check on them all the time. And, you know, are things too wet? Are things too moist? Should I be feeding them? You're afraid of them starving, so you overfeed them. And it's, it's just hectic. But once you start seeing some castings and you can tell that the worms are eating the food, then you kind of calm down and become a, <laughs> a good worm parent and don't overdo things. I just love these. These are just beautiful worms. Red wigglers, that's what they are. All right, I think enough playing around here. Let's go ahead and set up the feeding zone. And we'll add, I think we're gonna add a toilet paper roll. I was really impressed with how they tunneled through it and left some castings in my Vermi Hut worm tower. So I wanna go ahead and give it a try here. That's the bedding I'm gonna use because 
we have so much bedding in here right now. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so there we go. Two dry toilet paper rolls. We'll put those right down in there. And then here is the food we had in mind. We've got a lettuce stock. We're just gonna kind of put that in there. That's a very fast food. Some more lettuce here. That peach worked out pretty good. They ate that and I have definitely determined that it is a fast food. So we'll kind of sneak that right there on top there. We've got a pineapple. This is a little bit slower food. I think the flesh in here goes pretty quick, but it's actually pretty fibrous. And this part on the top or the side, I guess, takes a little bit longer. So we'll see how that goes, a little bit slower food. We've got a pepper, tomato top, and then some peppers and onions. And then here is a banana peel. I see a lot of people throwing banana peels right away into their worm bins when their worm bins are first starting out, but this is a fast, or I'm sorry, this is a slow food. So I kind of wait till after the first few weeks to throw in banana peels. You can throw them in, but they're just a slow food. And I like to see the worms eating the fast food first, knowing that they're healthy and good to go before I start putting in some slow foods. So that will be our feeding. Let's go ahead and press it down a little bit and then we'll put our amendments in. So first thing we'll add in here is just a little bit of dry expired grains and baking supplies for my pantry. And I just put this on in a little bit of a light layer and I'll also put some on the top as a top feeding. Next, we'll put in some coffee grounds and this is just another food source for them and I'll try and do it without dumping all too much in at one time. And then finally, we'll just give them some grit, which for me is crushed eggshell. Some people put sand in, but I live in Florida and we have nothing but sand around here. So I don't want to add any more sand to my garden. So I just use crust eggshells. So now the hard part, trying to bury all this food with some of the bedding that I have on top here. And I may have to add just a little bit of bedding, I think, because this is big. Now this will be gone, believe it or not. The biggest thing in here is going to be gone in like three days. And that's because it is mostly water, which will also help to put some moisture on the bin. But that is a super fast food. Anything lettuce or leafy like that is a super fast food. So I'll tell you what, let me get some more bedding here. So my bedding of choice is just shredded cardboard and I shred it in my 12 sheet cross cut micro shredder and it just makes these tiny little pieces. I have Amazon affiliate links if you wanna see what the shredder looks like and price it out. But that just works so well in my bins. So I think that will bury the food up nicely. So now we'll just add a little bit more of our worm chow. And I wonder, since it's kind of dry on top, if they'll go to the worm chow in the next few days like they usually do. But what may help it out is these top coverings because we're putting this newspaper on here and like you saw, it is wet and damp. And this plastic is really the star of the show because it is gonna take the moisture that evaporates and then condenses is just gonna drip right back down on that newspaper and wet the, the kind of top layer of cardboard shreds that I put in there. So that will about do it. I hope you all are having a great day. I hope your worm bins are doing well. So happy vermicomposting, everybody. Take care now.